And now to another issue that played a prominent role in last night's State of the Union address, cybersecurity. After announcing the signing of a new executive order designed to strengthen cyber infrastructure, the president made a push for Congress to pass comprehensive legislation focused on addressing the issue. And today, he just might get his wish. Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee Mike Rogers and Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger are resubmitting the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act, better known as CISPA. For more on this, I'm joined now by RT producer Bob English. Bob, nice to see you. Thank you. So CISPA is back. Tell us it more about back. this announcement today. Well, this is a rehashed version, and we haven't seen it yet, of last year's bill that passed the House, but um, President Obama had threatened to veto it, so it died. And this is one of a handful of cyber-related bills that is uh, yet to be passed, and it has to do with cybersecurity in particular and the cooperation between the public and private sectors. Okay. Uh, so this bill was proposed last year, and it didn't get very far there was a lot of outcry over it, possible privacy concerns. What differences are there uh, with this with this version? We can only speculate now because the actual version will not be released for a couple of weeks now that I've been told. Um, there might be a narrower d definition of cybersecurity threat. We might also see penalties imposed for the government or private sector misuse of the shared information. Um, and they're, they've also said that they're going to try to address some of President Obama's concerns that he had last year regarding it not addressing infrastructure. So we'll have to wait and see. All right. Um, I know that you got a chance today to speak some of the law, speak to some of the lawmakers about this. Yes. What did they have to say? Uh, they were careful to point out that this is not SOPA, that it's not the Senate bill that had an internet kill switch, that the government is not interested in reading your email, your Twitter, your Facebook uh, stuff. But what it is, is it provides a framework for the cooperation between the public and the private sectors, and it also gives legal immunity to the, uh, to the private sector if they use their information. In other words, the, the customers cannot sue them for using that information. Okay, so perhaps that might not be what they're interested in, but uh, privacy advocates still might be a little bit weary of the... The possibility there that's there are the doors that it may open certainly and there is a, there was a tone of exasperation today with the uh, privacy experts and this was on the part of the congressman uh, that I saw and they just seemed to not understand where the privacy advocates were coming from and that they would were not really budging so I, I think from this standpoint where are they coming from? Well, this particular act doesn't necessarily, isn't necessarily so onerous, but once you have that framework in place, it's very easy to change this voluntary program to something that's compulsory or to make other tweaks that uh, really destroy civil liberties. Mm. Um, uh, this bill lets the government use information collected about citizens for national security purposes. And we've talked, you know, when it comes to the NDAA, kind of having this vague language that uh, could lead to a simple slippery slope, or, or that's what some of these advocates are worried about. Is that an issue with this new CISPA, new CISPA bill? Sure. And uh, we have to consider what we were talking about the other day, uh, what happens when there is an emergency and an executive order comes out from the president. Um, it's very easy to take a piece of legislation like this and uh, change it a little bit and uh, make it uh, a little bit onerous for the American people. So that's where the concerns are coming from. All right. Um, cybersecurity, we had the State of the Union address last night. And cybersecurity, President Obama did vow that that was going to be one of the things that are going to be on the top of his agenda. And so he signed this executive order on cybersecurity. Can you tell us more about what this is and what kind of power this gives to the executive branch? Sure. He's using his existing authority to kind of beef up the cooperation between the public and private sectors. And he's gearing this mainly toward infrastructure. So uh, once you consider that, the president really doesn't have the legal authority to give these companies immunity. So that has to come in through a law like CISPA. And that's where this takes place. Very interesting. Bob, thanks for staying on top of this story today. That was RT producer Bob English.